a split decision on masks for Forest Hill schools. The board tonight voted to require masks for elementary students. For students in middle school and high school, masks will be optional. As Kendria LaFleur has the board's reasoning and the confusion over this vote. It was a decision that sparked a lot of opinions from parents. Some parents stood outside before the meeting, making it clear where they stand. I just feel like they should be able to decide what's best for their children and be their own advocate. It's what a lot of parents in Wednesday's meeting felt, including a board member. I think we're getting into dangerous territory if we have a school board think that we have a right to do that. The decision came down to a few factors, with more students expected to attend school this year. Social distancing might be difficult. And another factor, contact tracing and quarantine, would impact a larger group if a case were to happen. Local agency requires, we have no choice in this. If we have a contact in a classroom, we are required to do quarantine. So, and that is for all close contacts. So just as a point of reference, last year when children were masked, if we had a quarantine situation, it impacted a few students. This year, if we have no masks in classrooms, that obviously impacts the entire potential uh, classroom. For elementary students, most age groups can't get the vaccine, which is why the board voted for mandatory masks for those students in classroom settings. It did come with some confusion. Right, board member Demetria Choice voted incorrectly twice, saying yes to optional masks for elementary students, stating she misinterpreted the vote. That came with right. disappointment from some parents who walked out. For middle and high school students, masks are optional since they can be vaccinated. I spoke with a few parents who tell me they're okay with the middle and high school decision, but not with the elementary school. I just think it's critical um, that we stand up for our freedoms now. The board will reevaluate their decision September 13th after looking at the latest data of COVID-19 cases. Reporting for WCPO 9 News, I'm Kendria LaFleur.